When completed in 24 months, the new corporate headquarters of the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services will see a significant reduction in rental and lease arrangements for properties utilized for the delivery of services. Lying Minister Donna Cox revealed that overall, the ministry spends approximately $24 million annually in rental costs on facilities which service the poor and vulnerable in society. But she said the consolidation of the ministry's head office into a single location will save significant rental costs to the taxpayer. The, the cost for the headquarters is 14 point something, 14.3 million. Uh, the, um, that's the amalgamation of all the ministries, uh, um, all the offices that will be located here. But overall in the ministry, we spend over 23 million annually in rental. The building, she said, will also ensure digital services from the ministry are improved and expects greater efficiency. And since this head office will be digitalized, clients will have access to online applications, information and services, shorter application time frames for approval, faster response rates for queries, clients will get automatic notification as each step in their transaction is completed. And the Prime Minister Dr. Kidrowley said the land just opposite the La Perouse Cemetery in Port of Spain previously housed the government printery and was the temporary home for Desperado's Steel Orchestra. There was a deluge of applications and requests for this site, largely from persons to whom it didn't belong. But as we were planning what we would do with it, we lent it to Despers. And I was a little concerned that we were not going to be able, in the time frame that we had intended, to get Despers out of this site so that it could be used for the planned purpose. The new headquarters is being built at a cost of $150 million and will have 10 floors of office space with essential training facilities, counselling areas, administrative offices, which will have convenient access for persons with disabilities. Sonolala, TTT News.